Hey everyone, today I have some great news for you all, because patch 7 is coming soon to Baldur's Gate 3. Yes, you heard that right, so in this video we're going over this and how we can see this, as well as additional content coming to the game, through new extra endings. So don't forget to subscribe to not miss anything Baldur's Gate 3 related, and let's dive into the news. Okay, so if we take a look over at SteamDB, a website which tracks the backend from Steam, we can see that Larian is updating their files with a change list called Release Patch 7. Yes, it's coming. And as you can see, they started updating this about 3 days ago, so it's still very fresh. But it's great that more is coming to the game and that Larian still supports this game with new features. Now, coming soon is a broad term, but when we can see these files on the back end of Steam, we can normally assume it's releasing in one or two months. Sometimes it's a bit sooner, sometimes it can take a while. It all depends on whenever the patch is ready and stable. But you might ask, what could be within this patch? Because Larian did confirm Baldur's Gate 3 isn't getting new content, right? Well, yes and no. Because it isn't getting new content through extra DLC or expansions. More info in this video. But it's all how you want to define new content. Because I definitely see additional endings as extra content. And yes, this is coming to the game. How do we know this? Because Sven Vinke confirmed this himself in an interview with IGN. So let's take a look at what he said. So they're working on the evil endings right now, Sven said. I've seen some of them and they're really evil, so the evil players will be satisfied with that. He also says Larian will eventually scale down adding new stuff. It's just going to be support on box, because we want the team to be working on new things. So Sven confirms this will be one of the last additions to the game, and the game will eventually go on support mode to only fix box, because like he said, he wants people to work on their new game. And personally, I think more evil endings is a great addition, because without spoilers, there is one that is kinda... well, uh, just there I guess? But rest assured, because he also confirmed in his interview, cross-platform mod support is coming as well. So let's take a look at that part. So we are working with Wizards of the Coast, Sony, Microsoft, a lot of partners to align, Finke tells us. But we're trying to get cross-platform curated mods in there so that people on consoles can enjoy the mods that are being made for the PC also. So that will be a big thing, I think, because there is a lot of mods already, and then we won't be able to support everything, but we should be able to support quite a few. And this is again, all major good news, because being able to play with mods on consoles will be such a delight for console players. There are so many talented models out there that created so many cool mods, but it is also kinda hard to mod when the mods break with every update. So official mod support should also make this stop happening, I think. And like Sven said, they can support everything out there. But I do think they will support the biggest and best mods. At least, I hope so. And we also know crossplay and photo mode are on the list and that they are coming eventually, but Larian hasn't shared anything on when they could be coming. So do know one or multiple features from this list may make it into patch 7, but some of them could also be reserved for patch 8 or even later patches. But I do think those are the only features left that will make it in before Baldur's Gate 3 will only be supported with bug fixes. So we got more evil endings, official mod support, crossplay between platforms and a photo mode coming to the game. Personally, I really hope to see the more evil endings coming to patch 7. But it will come when it's ready and I'd rather have Larian take their time to make it good. And last but not least, Larian took home 5 awards from the BAFTA Game Awards. That being narrative, music thanks to Bobby, performer in a supporting role with Andrew Wincott as Raphael, player's choice and best game. And let me tell you something which is actually mind blowing. Baldur's Gate 3 became the first game to win every major Game of the Year award. They took this award from the Golden Joysticks in November, from the Game Awards in December, the DICE Awards in February, the Game Developer Awards in March, and then the BAFTA Awards this month in April. The other games that came close were Zelda Breath of the Wild, the God of War reboot, and then Elder Ring. But Baldur's Gate 3 is the first game to officially pull this off. So, I guess we can safely say Baldur's Gate 3 is officially the best game of all time? Well, I leave that up to you to discuss that in the comments, but do keep it civil. Anyway, a massive congrats to Larry Studios for this win. And I cannot wait to see what's next from them, but for now, I'm looking forward to patch 7 and the new evil extra endings. But what are you most looking forward to in this next patch? Do share it with me in the comments down below. And with that, thank you all for watching, and I'm going back to watch more of the Follow TV show.
it is actually pretty freaking good. Okay, bye.